Welcome to the Nintendo Power Zone, guys. It's your boy, Nice One, and we are back with a brand new unboxing video. And we haven't done one of these figures in a while. Today, we have a figure from the A Day with Pikachu line, and this is the Charge Up for Game Day. Now, guys, I don't have all these figures because these have been super hard to get a hold of. I've tried getting them through PokemonCenter.com, no luck. Those pre orders go super quick. And whether or not GameStop gets it, that's a crapshoot because I don't know what kind of deal the Pokemon Center has with GameStop to release these figures in stores, but whatever deal it is, it's not beneficial for GameStop. I will tell you that much. Anyway, I did happen to get this figure at GameStop because I could not secure a pre-order online. So finally, it's out. I'm happy to have it. Football is my favorite sport, so I am super excited to unbox this figure. But before we do that, let's take a look at all the different angles of the box. Alright guys, here it is the back of the box. We're going to go ahead and stop here for a moment because there's a description so we might as well go ahead and read that. Get away for a day with Pikachu. Each month, join Pikachu as it explores a year's worth of adventures. Fall football fun. Go team go! Wearing a jersey and a foam glove shaped like Victini, Pikachu cheers as its favorite players take to the field. Catch a winning pass with the charged up for game day Pikachu figure by Funko and Pokemon Center while you can. They won't last long. And that's certainly true. This figure is sold out on PokemonCenter.com. I know GameStop did get a limited release. That's where I got this figure. So if you haven't got yours yet, head to your local GameStop before it's gone. All right, guys, inside the box, we have the flyer that's going to showcase the next two figures in the day with Pikachu line and I'm really kind of excited about October because it's the surprises to fall for and that clearly is going to highlight Halloween so that is my favorite holiday so I have to get this figure. If you guys look really closely at the silhouette you can see a Punkaboo which really highlights the fact that this is our Halloween day with Pikachu figure. Aside from that we have the Thanksgiving one that's going to be the completely thankful which I imagine Pikachu is going to be kind of bloated. Uh, I hope he's not having Farfetch'd for Thanksgiving though, because we do know that Farfetch'd is a delicacy. Alright, so we've done enough dilly-dallying. We've got the figure outside of the box, and take a look. Oh my god, guys. This one is my absolute favorite in the line thus far. This is absolutely spectacular. Football is my favorite sport of all time, and I even played in high school. And if you don't believe me, take a look at this picture. Guys, I am sorry about these sideburns, but yeah, it was 2001, and we all make mistakes. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a better look at the figure. I got to say, I am in love with all the great little detail that this figure has. So, starting with the jersey, it's a nice gray with red outlines and the red number 25. Obviously, 25 being Pikachu's number, but it looks really good on the jersey. Moving on, let's go ahead and take a look at that foam Victini that Pikachu has on his hand. This is Funko really understanding what this crossover is all about. Football season is now in full swing. What do you see at football games when you go to one? Either college or, you know, high school or at the professional level, you always see somebody rocking a foam finger. So what did they make him do? They made Pikachu rock a foam Victini holding up the V for victory sign. And I love that. Now moving on to Pikachu's other hand, he's also doing the V for victory pose, which is absolutely great. That's just such great detail. It's a nice blend of Japanese and American cultures. Funko is really capturing the essence of this crossover and I gotta say, I am in love with that. All right guys, so looking at the back of the figure, there's a little bit more detail that you don't see really that well from the front, but I gotta admit, I'm in love with it. You see Pikachu is standing on a yard line, and I'm just gonna assume that Pikachu ran out onto the field because the Victinis won, and they are celebrating their victory, and Pikachu wants to be a very big part of that celebration. Love it. Aside from that, behind Pikachu, you see the football, and there's a lot of good detail on the football. I know you can't see it from this angle, but 
the ball does in fact have laces and it's just Funko paying more attention to detail when it comes to this figure and again now you see the back of the jersey which also supports the number 25 and you see the back of the Victini foam finger which doesn't have a design I kind of wish that it had a design on the back as well because typically a foam finger will have the exact same design on the back as it does the front so that people behind you can see it and so that people in front of you can see it Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I went ahead and got the other figures that I have in this line. There are seven at this point with an eighth on the way. I only got these four because they are super hard to get. Like for me, these are as hard to get as Amiibos were during their prime, which is kind of bumming me out because I would love to have a full set of these figures and it just doesn't look like I'm going to get it. But this figure holds its own against the three that I do have. Actually, it's my favorite favorite of the four that I have I just first off I love football and second off the design this is the best design in the entire a day with Pikachu line that's saying a lot because this has been a very strong line for Funko and the Pokemon company this is some of the best quality work Funko has ever done and this figure truly highlights that in my opinion it is the best of the bunch uh, I know there are more coming out, but I don't think they're going to capture the essence of the crossover the way that this particular figure does. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is score time, my favorite time. Why? Because I get to tell you whether or not something is actually worth your hard-earned money. So this thing is retailing at $14.99 at GameStop and at PokemonCenter.com. If you can find it on the website, it is officially sold out. At GameStop, you may find a few that have yet to be sold because I saw a few the other day. Anyhow, let's go ahead and start with the appearance of this figure. First off, I'm just going to go ahead and give it that score. It's a perfect 10 for the design because I absolutely love what they've gone ahead and done with this particular figure in this line. As a fan of football, I have come across so many fanatics that actually dress like this before a game or at home watching a game this is very common in my life I see this all the time uh, so yeah it truly captures the essence of what it is to be a football fan and that's awesome but then you have the crossover between Pokemon and that and that's even more awesome so yes fantastic design as far as its quality is concerned this is yet again some of Funko's best work they have proven that they can make high quality vinyl products uh, despite the Funko Pop line. This right here is some next level shit for Funko and I really appreciate that. So for this figure, I'm going to give them a 10 as well. So we gave them a 10 for the design. We gave them a 10 for quality. This figure gets a perfect 10 out of 10. It gets our Nintendo Power Zone seal of quality and it deserves it. Absolutely so. Funko, I need more figures like this. Make way more Pokemon. Make some Eevees, make some Squirtles, make some Charizards and all that good stuff because I would love to see it done in this quality, in this scale. Anyway guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of your hair, but before I let you go, gotta hit you up with the social media links. You can hit me up on Twitter at Nice1983. You can email me at Nice1983 at gmail.com. You can hit me up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Nintendo Power Zone. And if you're a fan of the Nintendo Power Zone podcast, you can always download new episodes on iTunes, Google Play Music, stream new episodes on Stitcher and Spotify. But if you want to watch the video version of the podcast, you can check us out right here on YouTube, youtube.com slash Nintendo Power Zone. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And remember to stay fresh. Deuces. Thank you.